Today, we're going to be taking the best scorers in the NBA this season, putting them all on one team and seeing if they can go 82-0 in the NBA. Now, this team, again, does consist of all the best scorers in the NBA this season. However, there are a few players that aren't on this list that I know some people are going to get annoyed about. Again, I'm basing this off of their averages and simply what positions we do need. So, the starting five is going to go simply like this. Steph Curry at the one, Devin Booker at the two, Jason Tatum at the three, KD at the four, and Embiid at the five. Technically, yes, Luka is averaging more points than Steph. However, in case you can't tell, I'm a little bit biased. It is what it is. I don't think it's going to matter. Everybody is playing the same amount of minutes, so it's literally just the fact that Steph Curry is starting. Off the bench, though, again, we do have Luka Doncic, Donovan Mitchell, who, again, just dropped 71 points. LeBron James, who is in his 38th or 38-year-old year in the NBA, still dominating as always. Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is literally unstoppable again Lily just put up a career high 55 points forgot to mention Luka just put up 60 a few nights ago you have Jokic who again has put up historic night after historic night Shea Gilgis Alexander who again has been unbelievable this season unfortunately there's just so many guards that have been balling out I still wanted to give him minutes so him and Ja are each getting 10 minutes apiece and then the final person in our rotation is well not even in our rotation but on the team is Anthony Davis the reason why I put him here is I feel like you just need to have a 13 you know man rotation or whatever I mean injuries aren't going to happen but just in case one of the big men foul out we do have AD going into the game AD's always injured though so I figured we'll just we'll have him on the team but we'll just not play him because it's what the Lakers are used to anyway Looking at this team, though, I think that there is no way that this team does not go 82-0. To kind of make it a little bit more fun, we're going to give them five chances to go 82-0. If you guys want to see more videos like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy this video, and let's get into it. I'm not going to do this for every single one, but our first attempt, we are 55-0 at the trade deadline here. I just want to see what these stats look like. So on the team right now, I mean, oh my god. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure everybody that plays is averaging at least 10 points. And then the two guys that are averaging only 10 minutes are still putting up really good stats. So I think it's safe to say that we are by far the best, um, you know, team in the NBA. I, I think it's pretty safe to say points per game. We are obviously first defensively. We are first and we have an average point differential of 38 points per game. We actually went 82 and 0 in our very first try. I actually did not think that was going to happen. I'm not going to lie. The 2K sim is always jacked up, and I kind of figured we were going to end up losing to a game. But we're going to make this challenge even harder on these guys. So let's just go ahead and sim through this entire thing here. I actually didn't have it on auto save. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the season. We actually, wait, we lost a game. We lost two games. Wait, so we lost the game to Portland here. What game did we lose? Was it game four? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm okay. Hold on. So we got blown or not blown out. We lost by 14 Lillard dropped 27 Lillard was definitely mad He was not a part of this team. It took four people dropping 20 plus though for us to lose by 14 So we actually went ahead and lost the game here and then the 2k sim god himself Zion Williamson is about to take us to seven game. Well, he did not take us to seven games, but we did lose two games Oh my scoring in this game. That is insane so I want to know what game did we end up losing? So we ended up losing the game by 12. Valanchunas had 24 and 8, CJ 20 and 11, and then obviously Zion led the way for them. And then we lose a game by 8 where CJ McCollum went off, Zion went off, Ingram had a really good game. So, okay, it makes sense. I actually want to make this even harder, though. We actually lost the game to the Heat. Wait a minute. So we're starting to lose games a little bit here. What game did we lose? We lost game what we lost game four by 17 hero had a good game uh butler had a good game bam had a good game pretty much an all-around team game not bad i want to make it even harder for them though i want to put this on a hundred like sim difficulty and see how many games they can win and see if maybe they could still go 82 and up so you guys can see the difficulty here is set at 50 normally, but we are going to turn this all the way up we are going to make it as hard as we possibly can to see if they could still go 82 and up so we actually take our first loss of the season on November 16th. So we got 15 games into the season and we did end up losing by 12. DeAndre Ayton had a big game. Chris Paul had a good game. I just realized we lost to them without Booker. Like, yes, we gave them Wiggins and like, okay, they have Bridges. But I mean, I don't know, man. This team losing to this team is kind of nuts. I mean, I don't know. Everybody's still playing pretty balanced minutes for the most part. So yeah, I mean, we did lose finally our very first game in the regular season. 
Only 15 games in though, which was actually a little surprising. I won't lie. So let's see how long it takes for us to actually lose another game. I mean, can we go at least 81 and, you know, 81 and one? I still think that this team does win like 75 plus games, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens here. But right now we lose game number two to the Sixers. See, this one makes a little bit more sense because they signed Miles Bridges. They have Poole. They have Maxi. They have Harden. This And they have Tobias Harris. Like, losing to a team like this, okay, I can live with this. Jokic still putting up MVP numbers and we still lose. Unbelievable. But I'm okay with that one. Like, that one makes sense. Losing to the Suns without... Booker is kind of nuts. Now we are losing to the Nets to Kyrie Irving, who this is the big guy that I wanted to put on this team, but like he just wouldn't have a role. Like again, as far as the people that are averaging points, he's just not up there. And yeah, Kyrie ends up coming away with the win here. So getting a little bit of revenge on KD and the rest of the team. Bro, I forgot to turn injuries off. It doesn't even matter because he was only hurt for like a day anyway. So here's my proof. You guys can see it's still on 100. Obviously, I'm not going to cheat. I actually want to see how many games this team can win on the hardest sim. Then we lose to the Blazers again. So the Blazers snag another game from us. Lillard with 44. Yeah, I think Lillard's a little, uh, I think Lillard's a little upset too. So right now, we have lost four games already. We lost to the Pistons. No, that's insane. Kane putting up 38, 8, and 8, and we lose to the Pistons. So not, And then we lose to the Magic. We're losing back-to-back. -back. This is insane. Fault with 45 points. Oh, my God. We let Markel Fultz, who hit 1-3, by the way, have 45 points. So not only did my team get gamed by Sadiq Bey in real life, but now... We are losing back-to-back -to, -back to the Magic and the Pistons. Then we lose another back-to-back. -back. Oh, my God. We've lost eight games. Clay on the Celtics with Jalen Brown. We end up taking a five-point loss to. And then we lose to the Cavs, who don't have uh, Donovan Mitchell anymore. Who did we even give them? Who did we... I actually don't even know who we gave them for Donovan Mitchell, but they're not even on the team anymore, so they must not have been that good. So they didn't even get anything good in return. Then we lose to the Nets again. Oh, man, this team is crumbling. I mean, I say this team is crumbling. We still have won 40-plus games. We lose to the Timberwolves. See, this one makes sense, though. I'm not too mad about this one. D'Lo, Ant, Cat, Gobert. He's like, Gobert's a 2K sim god, but, like, Bro, what is happening? Like, I think, I think like this team, just like the retirement home side of this team is just coming out now. So, um, let's just take a look. I mean, we'll see what's going on here. Player stats. I mean, here's the leaders here in each category. Uh, I mean, if you guys obviously want to see this, I did mean to do this last time, but I mean, it is what it is. And then I do want to see again, our rankings in the NBA here. I feel like we still should be best offensive team are literally the worst defensive team in the freaking nba right now i mean this is just in the western conference but what how does that even happen oh my god we are crumbling that this team is not the same i mean don't get me wrong we are a team that let markel folds drop 40 plus points so it makes sense but i honestly did not expect them to be this bad that's kind of nuts i can't even lie let's go ahead and see though and we lose to the timberwolves again i don't think anybody needs a contract extension so on a normal difficulty, this team does go 82-0. You put it on the hardest difficulty, and they actually lose a good fair amount of games. I mean, like I said, we're still... We lose another one to the Sixers. We finally beat the Timberwolves. That's good. So right now, we can win 70 games at most, I believe. And we don't. We go 69-13. and 13. So that is our record. Steve Kerr and, you know, our executive still gets um you know the awards here we actually don't get anybody on these all nba teams which is really funny so all nba first team goes to demontis Savona. so the power of putting the three well yeah arguably the three best centers on the same team it goes to sabonis all right where is his stats i was gonna say this is what i'm looking for so he averaged 16 and a half 12 and six and a half so obviously he made the team there um anybody kind of crazy paolo makes the all nba second team ingram makes the second team halliburton makes the second team randall siaka oh yeah okay the league is in shambles dude by having us be like this so round one against the grizzlies we sweep them okay that makes sense round two against the timberwolves we go to six games round three against the uh the pelicans again we do go to the nba finals and we do win in five games so both years we win a championship one year we do go 82 and 0 and the next year we go 69 and 13 so we took 13 losses on the hardest difficulty still though 
I mean, a team literally full of 99s, like, I'm actually a little impressed that they were able to go 82 No, The 2K sim was always busted, so let me know down below what teams or what style of team you guys want to see next.